it's Latoya O'Keele, your life coach and your motivational speaker. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the channel. If you are new, I am Latoya O'Keele. I am a mindset and purpose coach. I help women to discover their purpose, find their gifts, and reprogram their mindsets for success in their life, their business, and their relationships. So if that sounds like something that you might be interested in, make sure you click that subscribe button below and make sure you click that bell so you can get all your notifications every time I upload to the channel, which is every day, okay? So get right on into the topic for this video. I wanna talk to y'all about callings. Callings, yes, yes. So what is a calling? What is a calling? So many people uh, define this in a different way. Uh, so many people have their own version, their own definition of what they believe a calling is. So to my understanding and by my belief, I believe that a calling is purely spiritual, okay? It's a spiritual um, impulse. It's a spiritual feeling. It's a spiritual unctioning that you have to go towards a certain job or a certain place, um, a certain role that you take on. I do believe that callings can change. So the Lord can call you to a certain area at a certain time and then... In the next season of your life, the Lord may not need you in that area anymore. He may not need you to be there. God may say, okay, you fulfilled your, your time here. Now I need you to come over here. There are some areas, there are some jobs, there are some places, there are some roles that a lot of people are in right now in their lives. Some people were called to that area. And then you have some people that just went. I said it. I said it. Some of them were called and some of them just went. And I'm going to tell you, you can always tell the difference. You can always tell the difference. And the reason why I say you can tell the difference is because it's in the heart for real. It's in the heart. You ever seen somebody, you ever had a nurse and, um, you know, been in a hospital, had to stay in the hospital and you had a nurse to come in and one of the nurses was just mean. She was just so rude and nasty and I mean, just mean as a rattlesnake and you just could not stand that lady. But then when the shifts changed and the next nurse came in, you was like, okay, she is so nice. She is so warm. She's so loving. Wow. She really loves her job. You know, she's really good at what she does. She takes care of her patients. She takes her job seriously. And she just overall loves her job. That is the person that was called to be a nurse. She was called to be a nurse, meaning that it's not just in the flesh. It's not just in her body. She's not just there for the money. She's not just there for the physical um, things that she can gain out of that. But she's there because it's fulfilling a desire within her spirit. Like it's, it's a calling. It was an impulse that she had to become a nurse. It was something that was pulling her to that line of work. And then it's not only work for her, but it's also purpose. It's also purpose for her because while she's there on that job, while she's called to that job, doing that job, she's also fulfilling a greater purpose. And she knows her purpose for her life. She knows her purpose is to help people, is to, is to care for people through nursing. So that's what makes the difference. That's how you can always tell the difference. I remember one time I had somebody to come and do my yards. And people can be called to all different kinds of areas, all different kinds of work. It's not just within the church. It's not just church roles. It's not just a minister. It's not just a speaker. Um, people can be called to any kind of, any line of work, anything where God sees fit, where he can fulfill the purpose that he has for your life. He will call you to that area. Cause I remember one time I, I stopped using the same guy that I always used to do my yards. The guy that comes and mows my yards, my front yard, my backyard, and you know, does my landscaping and everything. So I used a different person for whatever reason. I don't know what I was experimenting with something in. And I wanted to use a different person. And so when the other person came to do the yards, as soon as he finished and I went outside, like I could immediately tell the difference. I could immediately tell. I'm like, oh no, mm -mm, no, nah, I ain't never calling him no more. I ain't never calling you again. And then this guy that messed up my yards he charged me twice as much as what the other guy charged me that does it perfectly but then here comes the guy that just messed up my yards did a horrible job and he charged me twice as much and why was that because he was in it for the physical 
He was in it for what he could get out of it physically. He wasn't in it because he loved to 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 do a service for someone. He loved to do yards. He enjoyed doing yards. And so he didn't even take pride in what he was doing. It was a sloppy job. You know, he just left stuff everywhere and it was just a hot mess. And so I knew right then, I'm like, okay, this is the last time he ever going to do my yards. I ain't never calling him bike no more. So I got the other guy to come back and to do my yards. And I looked at that when he finished and I said, you know what? I didn't realize it before, but I said, you know what? This man was called to do yard work. He was called to do it. Like this is his calling. And you can just tell when a person is called to do something because it just seems so natural to them, but it seems amazing to everybody else. That's how you know you in your guilt because it's second nature to you. You just do it like it ain't nothing. And then everybody else, they just be in awe of it. They just like, oh my goodness, you just do such a good job. You do such amazing work. This is just awesome. How do you do it? You know, it just seems so amazing to them. But to you, it's just like, oh man, it's nothing. You know, it's nothing. And so for him, it was nothing. But me going over to the other side, trying to get somebody else, you know, I was able to see the difference because I'm thinking, okay, it's just yard work, but no, it's not just yard work because there are certain people that God called to do yard work. There are certain people that God has called to a certain line of work. So just like, but what we have to understand is just like you have people that were called to it, you going to have people that just go to it. So you have to understand the difference between who is called and who just went, who just showed up because they heard that that's who make the money now. Or they heard that that's who get all the ladies. Or, you know, they heard whatever. They heard about it. And then they decided to just go and become that. And so that is how you can miss your calling. That's how you can miss your calling. By going to what attracts the money. By going to what is going to get you the money. I say, I have a saying that I say all the time. It's called purpose over profit. Purpose over profit means that you go towards your purpose. You aim to fulfill the purpose of God for your life and to walk in your calling, not for the profit, not for the money, not for, um, you know, what you can gain from it or what you can get out of it. But you go into it based off of what you can give to somebody else, providing a service to somebody else and then just enjoying it. Because when you in your calling, it doesn't even feel like work. That's how you know you in your calling, because it does not even feel like work. Like you literally just be having the time of your life. You be having the time of your life when you are in your calling because God did not want you to be, um, you know, burdened down. He did not want you to be worried, stressed out, having a miserable time. He wanted you to enjoy life. You know, he wanted you to just enjoy this ride that you are on while you down here. And so in order for you to find that enjoyment, you have to find your calling. You have to go to the place where God has called you to be in at the season that he's called you to be there. And understand that it's possible that that could change. But as long as you stay close to God, as long as you stay close to his instruction and you listen to him, you let God be your biggest influencer, not other things that are in the world. Because these things and these people out here will steer you wrong. You better make sure they know God and you better make sure that what they're talking about is kingdom based and is spiritual based. Because if it's not spiritual based, they could possibly be leading you astray. They could possibly be leading you astray. So y'all hear me talk about coaching all the time. I tell you about getting coaching, about getting with a life coach, about booking a session, booking a coaching package with me. I will go so far to even tell you that even with life coaching, you better make sure that the life coach you get with, that they are coaching you based off of kingdom principles, that they that their coaching is spiritual based. Make sure that they believe in God and they know that God is real. Because you need to be pursuing your God-given calling. It's the only way that you're going to be satisfied. It's the only way that you're going to be fulfilled. And you can miss your calling if you chase other things. If you chase things in the physical. If you go after a line of work just because you know that you're going to make the most money there. But you know you don't really like doing that. You can miss your calling. You can miss the whole reason why you came to this earth. And that's how people miss their calling. Because they start chasing profit instead of purpose. So as long as you chase the purpose, as long as you know and seek the purpose of God for your life, you cannot miss your calling. You can never go wrong. You can never go wrong. But I wanted to do this video because I want people to understand the difference. Um, don't get caught up on a person that just went to a job or just showed up. 
versus a person that was actually called to do that work. Because so many times people just put a bad taste in your mouth because of their, you know, their nastiness or their rudeness or, you know, just whatever they, they have going on. And then it makes you look at that whole profession just in a bad way. You know, you may look at a police officer in a bad way just because you had one run in with somebody that was not called to be a police officer. They just went there because they felt like that if they become a police officer, they're going to get they're going to have more authority. You know, they're going to have more more rulership or they're going to get more respect or they're going to get whatever they felt like they were going to get. So they decided to make that their profession. When you have a negative experience with somebody like that. That person was not called to that area. They just went there. Because you will know a police officer that was called. There are certain people that God called to be a police officer. And they really do take their job seriously in the way that they know that they are here to protect and serve. And they protect and serve. And they keep people safe. And then they help people. They don't just you know, slap the cuffs on people or, you know, just be mean or hateful or use their authority in a negative way, but they use their authority to bring good to mankind. And those are the people that you know, God called that person. God called that person to be a police officer. So understand and know the difference. Same way with that, a person can just say, I want to be a speaker or I want to be a coach. I think I'm finna go be a coach. Toy, a coach. I'm finna go be a coach. Or Toy, speaking. I'm finna go speak. Or I can look at somebody else and say, oh, such and such, you know, uh, made a million dollars selling hair. I'm finna go sell hair. But if I know that God has not called me to that area, if I do not have a strong impulse, a strong spiritual unctioning to go into that line of work, I cannot do it. And I want to tell you, do not do it. Don't you chase the money. Don't you do it. I know it's tempting, but don't you do it. You got to stick with your purpose. You got to walk in the calling that God has put on your life, that he's placed on your life. Now, if you're struggling with your calling, if you don't know what it is, book your session. Go down there in the comments. Go, go down there in the description of this video and click that link and book your coaching package today so I can help you to discover your purpose. I can help you to find your gifts. I can help you to walk in your calling and support you as your life coach the whole way. Okay, so I love y'all so much. I am Latoya Okia, your mindset and purpose coach, and I will check in with you guys next time.